our mud off. Why is it about mud? Well, look at the weather we've been having. Let's have a look. Captain Six, it's quite dark in here. Blue, in not try to kiss me. Look at that. That is horrendous. His hooves, my stable's quite dark. Can you see that? Show him your legs. Oh, look at those bad boys. So we're out the stable. Look at your legs. Let's give them a wash. So now just use the horse pack to rinse him off, which you didn't really like, did you? He didn't really like that, did you? No, he didn't. I think he likes to be dirty. Like, look at your mane. I mean, you do look at your worst today, so this is probably a good idea where we show him whether the November mud off box would be an amazing accompaniment to your tack room at the moment. Look at those legs. Let's even see his disgusting tail. Look at this thing, look like the worst horse owner ever. How disgusting. So, he's had a shower and we've let it to dry overnight so his legs are nice and fluffy and dry. But something I'm going to try is this pink hoof play by Eco Hoof, which is really good as a mud barrier and antiseptic, sweet chitch, cut some grazers. So this is in this month's tack box, so this is a bit of a sneak preview. I won't be telling you what else is in, but I really want to demo how good it is. So here goes. The idea is you leave it on, put it on, leave it to dry, it's down for three days. Does it smell? Mm, it smells like with essential oils and apparently you just need a nice thin coat. So I'm just going to go down because these legs get horrendous and I've tried all sorts. Neem oil, pig oil, which don't look like these and pigs that one. So I'm going to give this a try. This is a thin coat and leave to dry. There's been some really good reviews online about how good this product is, so let's give it a whirl. I'm going to go on to his hooves as well. It'll just help to moisturise his hooves. Put that on there. These feathers are so thick. I wish my hair was this thick. So if anyone's got any tips for um, uh, just against the uh, mud you want to share, just email those to me or go onto my Facebook and we'll do a post on there. Just I think it'd be good to just kind of like share uh, tips with each other. Like how do you best deal with the mud? Obviously we've had all that rain, it's horrendous, the fields are muddy. And I've been looking into really good products to use, tips to do, and obviously you shouldn't overwash your horse's legs, it gets rid of all the natural oils, so I don't generally do that, I just let it dry off, horse pipe and off and let him dry. So, this smells really nice. And this retails, this product's around £14, so amazing bargain that's inside of my November tack box, which is mud off. And you get the box with loads of goodies, help you with the mud and the bad weather plus a nice little treat for you for 30 pounds which i think is a bit of a bargain and a nice treat to have to cheer you up when it's muddy so i'd say that's first leg done so there we go all on his legs we'll leave that to dry while i look out so if you fancy trying out this month's mud off box featuring the product I tried yesterday, this pink hoof clay, fantastic little accessory for your tack box, then do sign up for either this month's box or a three month or quarter subscription and I can ensure that your box is sent out to you this month.